Hey guys, I'm back at it. Finally getting this uh, rear end swapped out. So, already done a little bit of work. The GoPro was dead, so started. I got the uh, got the U-bolts out. I uh, undid the brake line splitter block thing that's also a vent. I'm gonna see if I can get it to work. This one on this other axle isn't uh, a vent. For the axle, I don't actually see a vent on this axle at all, so I don't know about all that. Um, from what I read online, the this the these spring perches should work. All I have to do is uh, re-drill or elongate the centering hole, the centering pin hole. Uh, but I'm going to get the old axle out and do a little measurement and see what exactly I got to do and go from there i gotta drop these u-bolts and just roll this bad boy out hopefully it'll be that easy we'll see i said u-bolts i didn't mean u-bolts i already got the u-bolts off drop the springs and roll it out yeah all right so i'm working on getting these uh working on getting these bright cables these e-brake cables disconnected. And I thought I'd show you uh, guys a little trick that I'm not sure if everybody knows already or not. I don't know if uh, I'm ingenuitive or just recreating the wheel here. So they got these annoying little clips that are, it's, it's like three or four little tabs that you have to depress at once. And I found that a 13 millimeter box end just slides right over it and then of course this time it's not going to work and then you're out ah, right genius anyways that's it all right this is where i'm at i got the axle out that's it that's all i've got uh, I did a quick measurement, and the internet must be completely effing bonkers because there seems to be a pretty big difference between the uh, the distance between these spring perches and the ones on the AMC 20 axle, which I believe is from like uh, 84 Wagoneer, Wagoner. Um, so that's fine, though, because uh, this thing came with some spring perches, which I'm guessing were for this exact reason. So, I'm gonna hook these springs back up and then roll, I got this axle on some casters. I'm gonna roll it under and see what we gotta do. With any luck, uh, I might not have to cut those original perches off. Maybe, maybe we'll get really lucky and the new perches can just sit right next to it. I don't know. Also, uh, I had to take this block off and I'm hoping that the brake line uh, fittings are the same and I can just use the original block off the other axle. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I swear I read online that you could use these spring perches and just re-drill the uh, centering holes like a little bit. Um, and so that was my plan, but they are way askew if you can see it in here, which you can't because I'm dumb and I forgot how dark it is. So, I mean, there ain't no way that I'm using that. And also, because of that, since I already have to redo the spring perches, I'm not gonna go spring over because, uh, I mean, that looks fucking stupid. And, um, I was gonna just swap springs and use some stock springs. Cause I think it's got a, f like two or three inch spring lift on it. The front springs say rough country. So I'm guessing that's what the rear springs are too. Uh, but yeah, my whole plan just changed. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go spring under with these springs and, uh, call it a day. So tomorrow, 
or Sunday or next week or in two weeks, whenever I have time again, I'll uh, grind off those original spring perches and get to work, uh, get back to work. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it done and there's shit all over the screen. Sorry about that. That's it. All right, so I've got the axle back out. I got this piece of wood because I was blocking sparks uh, from shooting all the way over there and starting fires. Um, so I'm grinding the perches off and what I've run into is I could grind the inside but I couldn't get the grinder into the outside because of the uh, wheel. So I just cut shear the whole thing. Um, and then I can get at this piece from the inside. Uh, I think I'm gonna go through just one of these seven inch cutoff wheels, um, which I think the when you get them in packs of five, they cost like four bucks a piece maybe, so. Four bucks in uh, consumables to get these perches off. Not that bad. Uh, and then I will put it back under there, attach the U-bolts, and have it rolling. I've got, I can't really do my pinion angle until I make my cross member uh, so that I can see what my uh, output angle is gonna be on my transfer case. So that's where I'm at. So I decided uh, to not even grind that last piece and just hit it with a hammer and it came off. So uh, you don't even have to, you can just smack it and it comes off. Boom. <sighs> Feels good to be strong. Strong man. I'm a very strong man. Big boy, strong man, proud, proud, strong man. All right, y'all, it's in. Um, the whole thing is still sitting lower in the back. I'm fairly certain that's because I'm an idiot and I forgot to take the, uh, there were some shims in there already. Uh, so the, the springs are sitting a little lower than they should in the back. And also the tires in the front right now are like two inch and a half, two inches taller than the tires in the back. So I think once I take those shims out and uh, have matching tires, it should be sitting pretty level. Uh, right now, I don't really know y'all. I don't know how much more I'm gonna really work on this. I'm gonna uh, make the cross member I wanna make just because I wanna use my tube bender for something and um, that one's kind of a learning experience, so I'm not really too worried about the time invested versus the money that I'll get back. Because again, this is 100% a flip project right now. As much as I like it, uh, I just got too many, too many other things. There's no point in having so many awesome things. I can only drive one at a time, and it's kind of like a good, uh, a good pair of jeans. You know, if you, I have one good pair of jeans, I'm gonna be wearing those jeans every day until it's laundry day and they really need to be washed. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good analogy. And my Toyota is definitely the good pair of jeans. So this, as cool as it is, someone else, someone else can have it. Um, I sold some stuff. So I sold the vent windows from these doors for 200 bucks, uh, which is great because I bought the doors for 125. So I'm sitting at like a uh, hundred, negative hundred dollars. So these doors were free. Plus I made a hundred dollars ish. Uh, actually probably more rambling. Um, also sold the uh, family, the original family roll cage uh, for 150. So I haven't done the math, but that's gonna bring this entire project right now minus those front wheels and tires, I already had those, um, to less than $1,000. I'm pretty pretty sure, I gotta do the math, but I'm pretty sure I'm sitting at less than $1,000 right now uh, for this as it sits. And I've still got, I've got now I've got that YJ back uh, rear axle that I can part out or just sell whole. 
that'll be a hundred to 200 bucks, depending on if I can find a good buyer for it, or if I'm going to use those parts, uh, cause I think I might need the wheel cylinders off of those. I'm pretty sure they're the same as the AMC 20. So I might use those and, and the, the e-brake cables, I believe. Uh, so, but I'll probably make a hundred bucks off of that. Now I'm really rambling. Sorry, y'all. I'm just really excited because this thing's going to be super cheap. So cheap, I might just keep it. We'll see what happens. That's dumb. This is my outro. That's it, I think, for this video. It was super, way simpler to do this, uh, to do this rear end swap than I thought. Obviously, it's not done. Still got to work on my angle and I don't have it welded up. But I mean, just getting it in and out of there, I thought it'd be harder, more difficult. Not, it's not hard. Don't be scared. Do it. I've never done this before. So that's it for now.